this video is all about the Webley Hawk Mark III and we're going to give it a power test. Uh, I've done a video on this about probably two years ago. I bought it at auction, it didn't work, it was all jammed up. We fixed up, got it working and at the time I didn't have a cone graph. So um, if you want to know more about this gun I'll put a link to that video at the end. So um, we're now going to do the power test and um, if you want to find out the results, keep watching. We're using 14.5 gram pellets, I'll put 5 shots through and uh, we'll get an average of the foot pound and the feet per second, so here we go. Shot 1. Shot 2. Shot 3. Shot 4. Shot five. So I'll just scroll through the averages here, and we've got five shots. Average foot pound eight point six one. Velocity average five hundred seventeen feet per second. A minimum four seven nine. Max five thirty. Deviation of fifty. So that's it, guys. Um, that is the official test on the Webley Hawk. So that was the power test on the Webley Hawk Mark III for all the people who watched the restoration video. Uh, didn't have a cooling graph at the time and um, that was nice to get it tested. So the reason I wanted to do it and sort of get it out of the way is because our next, not our next video, but a video we've got coming up very soon is basically um, an air shotgun and we're going to use the Webley Hawk Mark III as the, as the donor gun because that's quite an old gun. It's got a bit of a clunky feel to it. That's not. I don't find it myself personally anyway. That nice to shoot. So I'm going to use that as a test piece for my air shotgun. No, no modifications are required. So um, I've got a unique way to show you how to how to make an air rifle shotgun. So looking forward to that. Hope to see you again. This is Shootfish Productions. I'm Nate. See you soon.